I'd like to see more facilities for young people so they don't, um, you know, so they've got somewhere to go um, and, and more things to do. I also think they ought to be a little bit more available for older people so that when they've left work and they're perhaps getting uh, limited mobility, they've got somewhere local to get into. And basically, a more cheerful, brighter place without all the rubbish and the and the um, to, uh, graffiti everywhere. Uh, for people to uh, get together and lots of things happening for the community and with all the rubbish it would be lovely for the young people to be able to uh, engage in clearing, clearing it up but make it a fun day so that they can have a picnic together and uh, own the community really. My vision for Kirkcallum is to help the mostly teen, teenagers. We need something to keep them off the street. We need a skateboard or BMX bag thing and we've got to look after the old as well. And we could do with some help down at the lake financially. <laughs> and why did you get involved in this project? Uh, because I wanted to press on my views. As treasurer of the church up community hall here, I've been wanting to improve the uh, heating system. Because as you can see, we've got three heaters already out. We've got substitute heaters in. Uh, but I've been told that we shan't be getting nothing until at least July next year. Uh, so at the moment, it's just trying to improve what facilities we've got before we, sorry, before we start going on to other projects to improve other facilities down like at Windsor Crescent for the kids or whether we put an extension on the side here so the kids have got a room to come and play snooker and everything else. And do you think that um, the big Kirk Hallam can achieve the things that you have as a dream? Uh, that could help because obviously we're solving problems that the police have got uh, which the council have got, so we might be able to get a bit of match funding. So Big Care Callum could start the fund, and the councils, county council, Erewash, police can also match fund it. I was 18 when I come to live in Care Callum when they first were built, and I've been here ever since, and I'm 82. And Kirk Callum, we've had some brilliant things happening. We've had, there used to be a gentleman called Keith Nichols, and he used to organise carnivals at the bottom of the estate and all sorts of things for the young and the elderly. Uh, I mean, I entered into a competition and I won it as Charlie Chaplin. Uh, everybody contributed, everybody enjoyed it and I, I've been here all them years and there's no sign ever that we'll leave here and uh, I say I was young and I'm still here and I look here Callum, we, we, uh, they, I mean the children, that's my great grandson, my children, um, they, grow, they grew up here you see and uh, I'm now my great-grandchildren, and I think to myself, well, uh, I don't think, well, I know we wouldn't move from here, uh, because you've got your friends and family, but I do wish they could find things for these young teenagers and, and the young ones. When they did that at the pub, all right, I did say a couple, see a couple of teenagers with um, a pint. But they were only the odd exception, because I lived dead opposite, you see. But I think he was trying to keep them off the street. And I think if we could just get somewhere where they have... Like they did in that pub. Uh, uh, what was it? Snooker? And, and I mean, I don't know what was in it, but people said there were games for them and something for them to do. And they never seen a, one of them around shops. So how would you like this money to be spent? What's your vision for Kirk Hallam? Well, my vision really is to, to get things going for the youth and take care of the old. And I mean, actually, the old people, they've got here, haven't they, to come and uh, them who are on their own and that. And on the old, it's not a bad area. 
I mean, uh, it's just a matter of getting organised with things. Just a matter of people all pulling together. I mean, when they had carni when they had carnivals, we all and everybody w was interested, and and it was a good time, you know. And I think that's what my I just love to see something for them all to be together again. So in a way you kind of like more community spirit, community involvement? Well I used to be on the residence association years ago but um, even that far back, it's a few years back, there's always this people who don't agree and they don't want nothing to do with things and there's, it's a hard job, it is really a hard job and if this money can, can help to get things moving I, I, I would like to see that for the future. Well, what I love about Kirkallum is that it's my home. I've been brought up in Kirkallum. Um, I moved away for a few years and then I came back when I got married. Um, so we came back to be near family, etc. Um, it's all very familiar to me. Um, and I mean, I love the schools, I love the shops. There's things I'd like to change about Kirkallum, um, but that's hopefully what we're going to do through through this local. So, what would you like to change? Um, I'd like to see more fruit and veg shops, the old traditional bakery. Um, I mean, we're, we're actually our business is in um, vintage cream teas that we'd like to bring to people's homes, but also we'd like to see it in the community. So we could get people that are isolated into the possibly the community hall, um, do a vintage tea, possibly get them transport that would be subsidised by the big local, um, and get people in to, to interact with each other so they spend time together and even do some workshops, singing workshops that are very uplifting that I would lead, um, and, and cupcake workshops, which I'm already doing elsewhere in the community so it would be lovely to bring that to Kirk Allen. So it feels like what you're looking for really is this kind of strong sense of community engagement. Absolutely um, there's a lot of people sitting in the homes day in day out that never interact with anybody and I think it's very important for them to have a quality of life which is what we'd like to see in Kirk Allen. and there's no reason why we can't do that. Really to make it more attractive for the people who live here and I think I've been looking at the scrapbooks that the school children have, have produced and I think they're really telling because they're talking about the things that they notice like dog mess and graffiti and buildings that are falling down and, and I think first of all it's important to get all that cleared up so that at least the place looks better and then you can start thinking about attracting other things in like more facilities and more shops and, and cafes and, and so on. Um, Are you optimistic for its future with the, with the big lottery money coming in? I am, yes, with that money, because I think without that, the way that public service funding is, is going, there would be very little option to do anything. But with that money, I think a lot can be done that will make a difference to people here. Um, and I like the fact that it's the actual local people who are saying what they want. I'd like to see it cleaned up for a start. And the, and the kids move from around the shops, but they've got to have somewhere to go. We need something for the youngsters, definitely. And I'd like to see some other activities for old people like me. You know, I also want to see the lake look wonderful like it used to do years ago, because it's beautiful. It was gorgeous. You know, and they're working on it, and they're doing what they can, but it, it, it needs some funds and some more manpower, you know. Um, I'd like to see a bus that runs at night. I'm limited, I can't walk very far, I've had two strokes. So I can't, I can't, I have to rely on other people, and I like to be independent. I'm Laura Guthrie, I'm one of the Arts Development Officers for Erewashborough Council and I'm here because I'm a member of the Harvest Moon Steering Group which is a steering group that organises and puts on the Harvest Moon Festival annually every year in September and what I would really like to see for the Harvest Moon Festival is for more local community members to be involved and, and to own the event we currently have, we've been doing it for about four or five years and um, we get about three to four hundred people come on the day and they all have a great time 
um, but there's a lot of work in getting it set up and at the moment the steering group is quite thin. Originally when it set up there were about 15 to 20 people involved, a large percentage of those were local community members but for a variety of reasons that's kind of dissipated a bit and we're now really looking for new people with new ideas to see uh, to, to give the festival a bit of a, a new boost as well as just more people to be on hand on the day and in the lead up. Do you think um, the Big Kirk Halle uh, project is going to help with more community engagement with the arts? Well, I sincerely hope so because I think that certainly a lot of the projects that we've run in Kirk Callum, not just Harvest Moon, but other projects, um, arts based projects, have always been met with a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of um, commitment by those involved. We've done a lot of work with the children's centres and working with parents with children under five, and that seems to have worked really well and people have got a lot out of it. So yeah, I'm hoping that the big local will instill more, it will inspire more people to be involved. And what's most important really is that big local finds out what people want and how they want it delivered. That's what I'm really excited about, that it will be the voice of the community telling us what it is they would like some support with.